Alright YouTube, so at this point you should know that I do not miss a beat. I'm jumping back on that train and testing another skincare brand and seeing how it goes. Uh, at the time you're watching this, I should have already put out a video talking about the six brands of skincare that I've done so far. And let me just tell you guys, I have found so many good products. Like I feel that I have a complete skincare routine that I could formulate from my favorites. But that said, there's a couple products that I just need. <laughs> I need to find the best of certain things. I just haven't found them yet. Um, so I turned to Clarins because they had some options that I thought I was really interested in trying. Um, you guys know the way I like to do this is to find a serum and a moisturizer and all that stuff. Um, and I don't entirely have a full routine with Clarins, so I'm just real quickly gonna tell you guys that I got a bunch of samples. Uh, and this is what I'm going to use to do a serum and a moisturizer. I've got the double serum, which completely intrigues me. Apparently you mix these two together. I don't know if you buy the full size, if it mixes itself. It kind of looks like it does from the package. Um, but I, I just can't afford to buy these right now, so I'm, I'm trying out all these samples. Um, and this also comes with a day cream. I don't currently have an SPF day cream. Crazy, right? But I just haven't been in the sun. I have not been in the sun. So I'm going to try out all of these and report back on that but i did actually buy some full-size products out of my own pocketbook uh because I, I i need to find these things i need to find some good products this is the pore minimizing serum and i am fascinated by this concept i am so happy with my skin right now in general i'm just i'm so i, I have cleared out my face um but you know see those pores right there I would like to do something about that if I can. I feel like everybody has this struggle. If Clarence can answer the struggle for me, then it's going in my permanent skincare routine. Um, this, this is the full size. It's gonna take me forever to go through it, I suspect, but I will let you guys know to the best of my ability. This is not clear for me to know how much I'm using, but I'll, I'll, I'll try. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this. It was a little expensive, but you know, if it makes a difference in something that I feel I can improve in my skin, then it's worth it. And then I also have the Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. I, st I still haven't found the perfect lip balm. I want something that's going to not just make my lips look good temporarily, but fix them. Uh, so I'm giving this a try with Essential Rose Wax. I don't know, it's, it's nice to finally have a tube again. I feel like I've been using a bunch of little pots. So I appreciate the um, cleanliness aspect of this. So I'm giving that a go. Uh, and then I also have some other products that came as gifts, so I'll be trying all this stuff out too. I've got a, I've got an eye cream, which is something that I'm not convinced I need, but let's see what Clarence can give me. I've got a gentle eye makeup remover. My hopes are low for this since it has the word gentle, but maybe it'll be great for light makeup days. And then also a one-step facial cleanser. This is you don't rinse it off, so I assume it's like a micellar water. I'm gonna be honest, there are definitely times where I'm too lazy to wash my face with all of my stack of cleansers that I have. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it out. This is the Beauty Flash Balm. Um, this is apply without rubbing in, follow immediately with makeup. I'm not sure what this does, I'm intrigued. It sounds like it's something different. I'm looking for different at this point. Uh, and then we have the Extra Firming Mask, the first relaxing anti-aging mask, Clarins. Really? Oh, I see. It's asterisk from Clarins. I was about to say, you, sweetie, you have not made the first anti-aging mask. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we got it figured out. So I love masks, I love leave-on masks. Apparently that's what this is. Apply generously, leave on for seven to 10 minutes. But it doesn't say wash off. So we'll see what happens if I leave it on longer. I do not have sensitive skin, so I put my skin to the test as a result. Is that everything? Oh, I guess that's everything I have to trial. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm, you know, running out of money, so we're just doing this, but I'm gonna do the best I can at letting you guys know what I think of Clarence as a whole, what how I think this brand goes. I will be back to you guys in two weeks with an update. It's been two weeks of Clarence products, and I am ready to come back to you guys with an analysis of how I think this brand performed. Please excuse my hair, it is currently drying, so that's what's up with it. Um, but yeah, so this brand, um, much in line with all the other um, established and relatively expensive skincare brands I've tried. 
did not fail me. Yet again, it did not fail me. I'm very impressed with the products. Um, as I said, I didn't have quite enough of these to necessarily um, sample them for extended periods, but the amount of time I sampled them was enough to let me know that I do definitely feel these delivered on their claims. Um, so I think I'm going to start with the little samples that I did. I have a comment real quickly because I noticed in here it says, you're 40 and you will you still have smooth, firm, radiant skin. <laughs> After I read that, I was like, shoot, I over, I overdid it again. I went too high in my skincare <laughs> um, quest, if you will. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, you know, it's always good to try out a brand, even if it's not necessarily meant for your age range. Um, so yeah, so my opinions on these brand, uh, this brand in particular, um, I'm going to try to keep that in mind when I'm doing this. Uh, so the first product that I sampled out in these little cards was the Double Serum. And it's a $90 serum and it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint whatsoever. And much like I just said, I feel like with all the $90 serums that I've tried, I've been impressed. And this, this is right up there with them. It's really good. It's a really good serum. Um, I also tried out the double serum and multi-active, oh, excuse me, the multi-active day cream, which is a little pink jar. Um, I had enough of that to use every single day, so that was pretty neat. The serum I had to conserve a bit more. Um, it has an SPF of 20. I liked it. I was pretty impressed with how you did not have like a white cast to your face. That really impressed me because I feel like it's hard for a moisturizer to have SPF in it and not make that white cast, but it actually succeeded. Um, I'm not convinced I'm gonna buy it because it, I don't think it broke me out, but I don't think it helped me like prevent breakouts. So, and that's, that's more me. My skin isn't really used to SPF ingredients. So I think that's what was going on there. Um, and they also had a night cream, which I tried out and I liked that too. I, um, I only had a tiny sample of that, so I'm not gonna, speak too much more on that one, um, but I did like it. So the rest of the stuff I had bigger sample sizes of, so let me go through all of that stuff. Um, first off, I had the One Step Facial Cleanser. This stuff was so good! I was so surprised! And look, I did not go through much of it at all either. Um, great cleanser. It has oil in it, so it definitely removed all my makeup. I felt like it was a toner too. I really enjoyed this. Uh, and then this one also blew me away. This was the Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And let me tell you guys, out of all of the products I've used that claim to be a gentle makeup remover, this is the only one that actually removed makeup. So very impressed. I mean, I did not try it with false lashes or anything, but it, it successfully removed all traces of mascara. So I was quite impressed. Um, and then I also had this Pore Minimizing Serum. This... This is $54. This is not as pricey as their other serums, um, but it's not, you don't use it all over your face. You just use it on your pores. I feel that it worked. Um, I mean, you can still see some pores, but I feel, and I'm going to have to go back and watch my two weeks ago video, but I feel like my pores look less prominent. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to keep using it. I liked it. I liked it. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to buy it again but I liked it. That's one of those products where it's $54 for an ounce, and I just kind of want to know, do I have to spend $54 on it? So I did, because I really do want to reduce my pores. Uh, and then this is the only product from Clarence that I thought was only okay. This was the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Um, it was just okay. This is really expensive, and in my opinion, I've used other eye creams that are just as good that it that are like a third of the price. So it was just okay. Uh, and then I had the extra firming mask. This might have been, this is a huge claim, but this might have been the best anti-aging mask that I've used so far. This was really, really, really good. This is one of those things that I will keep an eye out for. Maybe see if Clarence has some good sales or gift with purchases, but that was really, really good. Uh, and then this is the Beauty Flash Balm. Same deal! This was so good! This is the only... Maybe the only primer that I could think of off the top of my head, at least, that um, really helped my makeup stay on. It helped my makeup stay on. Because I feel like primers are always just like, oh, it's a base, but it doesn't really do much more. This 
was sticky, but it helped my makeup stay on. Very impressed with that. And then the last item was the Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. Yet again, out of all these challenges I've done, this was probably the best, um, that's gonna have some shine back. Sorry guys. This is probably the best lip moisturizer that I've used. I liked that it was, you know, hygienic in terms of it being in a tube versus a pot. Um, it's $24, but honestly, like, that's, that's not a big deal. I see people complaining about the price and I'm like, you guys pay $24 for lipstick. If this is something that improves your lips, is that not worth it? Um, and that's, that's a big reason I've been on a quest for the perfect lip balm. So far, I'm telling you, so far this is the best I've tried. Again, I want to, you know, see what else is out there. See if you necessarily have to drop $24 to have nice looking lips. But hey, you know what? If you do, I will drop $24. And I did not use very much of that. So I think a little will go a significantly long way. It was great for overnight wear. Um, so yeah, overall, my opinion of Claire's was pretty darn stellar. I loved, loved four of the products. The Flash Balm, the Mask, the um, Lip Balm, and the Double Serum. Everything else was really good. I'm kind of like, I'm torn on if I loved that orange cleanser because I use a lot of the like face wipe kind of things. And to me, I don't know if I'm going to reach for that over those, but it was so convenient. I don't know. I might've loved that too. Um, the only things that weren't super stellar to me were the eye cream and maybe the day cream because me and SPF have a complicated relationship. But overall, my opinion of Clarins is really quite good. Um, apparently their target audience is 40, uh, the 40 year old range. And I can see, I can see how these products would be stellar for that age range. I can absolutely see that. Uh, so yeah, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I definitely am going to be trying to look for some drugstore brands. I, I want to see how those compare. I've done a whole bunch of these expensive price range brands. And it's like, when I look back at my videos, I'm like, everything worked. <laughs> like, Pretty much everything has blown me away. So it's time that I drop back down in prices and see, you know, how do less expensive products compare? So that's what's gonna be coming soon. Um, if you guys enjoy watching these kind of videos, please do hit subscribe. I like doing them. I like doing them a lot, if you can't tell. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTube.